In this tutorial, we are going to solve equations that require more than two steps. Sometimes it's three steps, sometimes it's four steps, sometimes it's even more than that. But no matter how many steps it's required, you always follow these four instructions. First, look for parentheses. If your problem has parentheses in it, you need to distribute to clear those parentheses out. To take them away, you need to multiply by whatever number is sitting outside of it. Step number two is to combine like terms if needed. Now, careful here. Like terms are terms that are located on the same side of an equal sign. So that gets a little tricky. Step number three is to solve the remaining equation using the inverse operations you've been using all along. And then step four is to check your solution. So for the sake of this video, to keep it a little bit shorter, I'm going to skip the fourth step, which is to check my solution. But I suggest that you do that step to know if you get your questions right. So let's take a look at question number one and three. And then you're going to try two and four on your own. So let's take a look at question number one. I don't see any parentheses. So I'm going to split my equation here using the equal sign, right? This is the splitter. So the left side has 1, 2, 3 terms, right? There's three terms there. So notice that I color-coded these on purpose, that these two red box terms both have the letter X. So if they both have the letter X, then that means that they are alike. Right? So I'm going to take those boxes away and I'm going to use this little loop. You can only use this loop to show which terms you're going to combine together if they're on the same side. And they are both on the left hand side. So I'm going to combine these together here. And the math says to subtract 2x's take away 8x's and that gives me negative 6x's. The rest of my problem needs to be rewritten exactly how it is. Now I'm going to move on to step number three, which is to solve using my inverse operations. I'm going to divide by my coefficient. And I'm going to get my final answer here. All right. I sped up a little bit there at the end, so pause this video if you need to take a look at my work. All right, let's take a look at question number three. If I look at each side, the right side is certainly very long. So I actually have one, two, three, four terms over there. I actually have four terms over there. So what I'm looking for is to join any terms that are alike. So maybe here. See these two? They both have W's, so I could join those together. And you see these two here? They're both plain old numbers or constants, so I can actually join those together as well. So I'm going to leave my 19 the way it is, and I'm going to shorten this side. So it doesn't matter which ones I combine first. I can combine the W's first, I can combine the constants first, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go with the W's, the variable term. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4 W's, and 10 minus 7 is positive 3. And now I'm ready to use my inverse operations. 4w is equal to 16, divide by 4, divide by 4, and get my solution. All right. If you think that you were able to follow along with my steps, you should try questions 2 and 4 on your own. Pause the video, finish your work, and when you're ready to check your answers, turn the video back on. Okay. So hopefully you gave these a try on your own. If you're following along, make sure you're writing everything down in your packet so that you have some examples to look at when it's your turn to work independently. So question number two, my like terms are my constants. So negative 19 stays the same, negative 3a stays the same, but negative 5 and negative 11 make negative 16. Clear my constants. Divide by my coefficient, and complete. Let's try question number four. Now this one, just like question number two, 
has different terms that are alike. So I have variable terms and constant terms. Again, it doesn't matter which one you combine first, but I'm going to combine my constant terms first, 5x minus 13, and rewrite the rest as is. So clear my constant. Negative 35. And my final solution is negative 7. Okay, let's take a look at two more here that require us to use our first step, which is distributing. So I'm going to do 5 and 7, and then I'm going to ask you to try 6 and 8 on your own. Although I know that's scaring you, so maybe I'll do 6 and 8, and you can do 5 and 7. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. Number 16. The parentheses here are on the right-hand side, and the coefficient outside here is negative 2. The 16 stays the same, but the coefficient gets multiplied by everything inside the parentheses. So negative 2 times k, and negative 2 times 9, negative 18. Now that the parentheses are gone, I check to see if I can combine like terms, and these are not alike. So I move on to step 3, which are my inverse operations. So add 18, add 18, negative 2k here, and 34 here. Divide by negative 2, and I get my final answer. Here we go. Okay, let's try number 8. Now it looks scary, but it's really not. So I have negative 1 half. So the negative here means I'm going to switch all of the signs inside, and the 1 half means I'm going to divide by 2, right? So I want negative 1 half times 12, or half of 12. That's negative 6. And then half of 42, which is 21, but two negatives make a positive when I divide. Now notice my parentheses disappear, right? Once you multiply, those parentheses disappear. Okay. Negative 6p is equal to negative 54. Divide by negative 6. And two negatives make a positive. p equals 9. All right, I think you should try 5 and 7 on your own. Take a moment to pause the video. And turn it back on when you're ready to check. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to work these out on your own. So here are the solutions to 5 and 7. Number 5, x is equal to 4. And number 7, n is equal to negative 4. Let's take a moment to pause the video, look over your work, make sure you have all of the same steps that I have, and that your final answer has been boxed. Okay, let's take a look at the back side of this worksheet. So the back side of this worksheet contains all four steps that we talked about at the beginning. Distributing, combining, using our additive inverse and multiplicative inverses, and finding our final solution. So I'm going to do 9 and 10, and then you're going to try 11 through 16 on your own. So here we go. 5 times y is 5y, and 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. Now the parentheses have ended, so I'm not going to multiply anymore. The 5 is gone, and the parentheses are gone. Minus 7y comes down, equal sign comes down, minus 32 comes down. So my distributing is complete. Now step 2, combining like terms. In this problem, I only have one pair of like terms, and that gives me a negative 2y. Everything else remains the same. Bring down the minus 10, bring down the equals, bring down the negative 32. And now I can use my inverses to cancel out my constant here. And use my division property of equality to get my final solution here. Okay, let's try that one more time. Now, I do see parentheses, 
but what's touching the parentheses is the two-thirds. So I'm not allowed to do this math right here. I have to leave the minus 3 alone, and I have to take this two-thirds, and I have to distribute it. Right? I have to multiply it. So the minus 3 gets rewritten the same as it was. And 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, so I'm going to get 4n here. And 2 times 42 is 84, and 84 divided by 3 is 28. I think, yeah. Now I bring down the equal sign, and I bring down my negative 51. All right, so my distributing is done. Now I need to combine like terms. This time my like terms are constants, so I'm going to leave my 4n the same, but I'm going to combine these two constants here, and now I'm going to solve using my two steps. So 4n is equal to negative 20, divide both sides by 4, and get negative 5. Okay, so that concludes the video tutorial on distributing combining, adding and subtracting, and multiplying and dividing to solve your multi-step equations. Now you give the rest of this worksheet a try and bring your solutions to me when you're done.